Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, the Beginning, and the Ending, who was, and is, and is to come, the Lord, God, Almighty, Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Amen. That's according to Isaiah 9, verse 6. Micah 5, verse 2, Revelations 1, John chapter 1, and Colossians chapter 1, they all speak of Jesus as God in the flesh, God Almighty. Amen. <coughs> well, brothers and sisters, just wanted to touch base with you all. I do believe the rapture is very soon. Uh, spiritual warfare has been at a constant high <laughs> and uh you know it's just it it's it's very difficult sometimes to be honest to continue to be in this realm so to speak where we are susceptible to the attacks and the constant harassment of the enemy through friends and families and circumstances and finances and strangers and spiritual attacks and everything else. It's non-stop. And uh, today I was out walking with my sign, just trying to blow off some steam. I, I usually do uh, a walk when I'm upset. And uh, so I was, I was out for a walk and just praying like, Lord, you know, please just keep me from losing my cool. And uh, and then, you know, as I was walking, this young boy almost hits me with his bike. <laughs> and I'm thinking in my head, like, what is wrong with this kid? Like, speeding down the sidewalk. And he sees my sign, and then he wants to have, like, a dialogue with me. And I'm thinking, okay, this kid's, like, seven or eight years old. I'm not sure I should be speaking to this kid, uh, you know, because the parents might complain or, or you know, whatever. Um, and then I was thinking about the verse, you know, don't, uh, don't refuse the little ones. Or uh, I can't remember exactly what Jesus said, but you know, basically Jesus said, don't refuse the the little ones, uh, in terms of the gospel and stuff. And so he started talking to me and he was asking me about a nuclear invasion because that's that's on my sign and i was telling him well it, it's the end of the world and uh then he was like well I, I hope i hope that's not true and then he begins to tell me that he believes in jesus <laughs> and that he learned about jesus you know dying on the cross for our sins and, uh, you know, it, it was really just refreshing um, to see his childlike faith, you know, uh, a sincere boy who, who genuinely believes. And, you know, I, I just, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit <laughs> as I was talking to this child who almost hit me with his bike. <laughs> and, and then he, uh, then I tell him, well, well, do you know who Jesus is? And he says, well... Uh, uh, Jesus is the Son of God. And I was like, yes, yeah. But Jesus is also God in the flesh. And then uh, and then he was like, oh, I thought he was the Son of God. And I was like, well, he is the Son of God, but, you know, God is a spirit. And, and God had to take on the human form uh, in order to come to the earth and, and, and you know, do what he uh, did in his ministry, more or less. And, and then he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, th I think he was trying to register that, that idea in his mind. Hopefully it, it makes sense. And uh, then he, I, you know, I ask him, like, you know, are your parents Christian? And he tells me that his mom is a Christian, but his dad is Jewish. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking of, of something you know, some, some sort of verse or something to, to uh, tell him to tell his dad, you know, maybe to bring him to faith or something. But then I, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to give him my note 
my my evangelism note about the end times and and then I, I gave it to him and I just asked him you know here could you please give this to your mom you know uh, it's about I, I didn't tell him it was about the end times but you know I, I told him you know please just give it to your mom please give the note to your mom and uh, then he says oh because she's Christian and I was like well yeah <laughs> I, I didn't want to tell him that it's hard to get through to Jewish people <laughs> <laughs> from my experience they're they're pretty difficult to evangelize uh so he was like okay and you know and then he was like you know i agree with your sign you know about not sinning anymore <laughs> and then I, I was like yeah that's awesome and uh i don't know like just having that conversation with that innocent child you know just i don't know it just brought me joy <laughs> It's good to see that, you know, there's still children that are still, that they still have, uh, like, that childlike faith, and they're still more or less uh, pure in heart uh, compared to the adults <laughs> and the teenagers who are more defiled by this matrix system that we live in, this world system. And uh, anyhow, I just want to share that with you all, you know, uh that I don't know, it's just, you know, there's still, you know, God still has his people, God's still reaching people, and, uh, but I do believe time is very, very short, and, uh, even though the, the, the attacks are just sort of non-stop and, and constant, and sometimes it could seem, you know, like it's just too much, too much to bear, but, you know, this is part of the walk. You know, no one said it would be easy. Jesus said that uh, we must pick up our cross daily and follow him. Amen. And that we should not look back. Don't look back. Okay, like Lot's wife, who became a pillar of salt. And uh, I do believe the rapture is soon. I, I hope to see you all in the air very soon. Uh, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please confess and forsake your sins study the new testament bible get baptized and follow christ according to the the letters in red and uh shalom until next time amen